Hey guys, it's Christine. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I talk about budgeting in my bullet journal. On this channel, I talk about budgeting as a single mom of two adult kids. I have a son who lives at home with me and a daughter who is away at college. My goals are to get my spending under control, save up for retirement, build an emergency fund, and try to stay out of debt, all while still trying to live my life. My short-term goal, however, is to manage a smaller paycheck while watching all of my daughter's games this year. It is her senior year as a college student athlete and I'm determined to be there for all of her games, even if it means more expenses and less pay in the short term. If you would like to join me on this journey, please consider subscribing, hit that like button and comment down below if you want to see more content like this. It would help my channel very much. So if you notice, I have this check-in sheet, which is a little bit different than my old one. So I did fill out this one where I did three check-ins in one um, budget, but this time I'm gonna have two check-ins. So it'll be a weekly check-in every Tuesday. So I'm gonna try it this way this time um, because I have found that making videos for the three check-ins plus a closeout plus a but it's just a lot so i'm going to try to cut one video out of the running or out of the rotation and see if that helps um i also needed more space this way i couldn't like compress this anymore um so hopefully this works out um, the funny thing too is if I hadn't done this, I would have only had one item on my first check-in. So let me go ahead and open this up for you. All right, so where we left off was the 9th and that was the day before my paycheck. So we're going to start on the 10th and that was $8.25 for teriyaki chicken and chow mein and a soda. If I had done it the old way, this would be the only transaction on this video because I had four no spends after that, which is great. It's amazing. But um, I just didn't feel motivated to make a video for just like one transaction. Um, so anyway, so for the 15th, um, which was yesterday, Monday, I went to Walgreens and I spent $12.72 at Walgreens for a box of Capri's. On the 15th, again, um, my son and I went to Costco and we got some hot dogs and sodas and that was $3.25. Our main purpose was to get my medications and to get ice cream, but I ended up being so hungry that I was like, you know, let's just grab a hot dog. Um, which is great because it's super cheap. Um, my refills, only two of them were ready, $2.90 at the pharmacy. My other refill that I was expecting to be like 55, I think it was a $55 copay. They didn't have it ready and I actually ended up calling my doctor's office and my doctor has retired. <laughs> earlier than anticipated. So she, I knew she was gonna retire like towards the end of September, but she decided to retire sooner. And none of the other doctors in her practice would sign off on my medication. So I either have to um, establish care with one of them or go to urgent care. Um, my third option, which is probably what I'm gonna do is like a teledoc. Um, which is a service through my insurance company. It's supposed to be free. So basically I would set up a doctor's appointment with one of their teledocs, <laughs> I guess. And um, hopefully I can get my prescription that way. Um, but yeah, that was a bummer. I should be good for another week or so, um, but I that's something I really shouldn't have put off but like my insurance would not have renewed it till the 14th anyway, or like filled it till the 14th or sooner than the 14th. You know, they wouldn't 
have filled it sooner than the 14th is what I should say. So I was pretty much um, screwed. Anyway, uh, so the 15th, while we were there, we went ahead and got um, a giant bag of coffee beans and some lemon cakes. And also from the household category, I spent $55.23 for toilet paper, some Neutrogena moisturizer, and some Crest toothpaste. So here's the ice cream, $4.85. I promised my son we would get ice cream, and if you've been around for a while, you know we love our ice cream, even though it's just like the vanilla soft serve. Um, he actually got a sundae though, so that was just an extra 50 cents for like the chocolate syrup. Um, for Today, I only spent $8.25 out of the eating out category. I got my chicken teriyaki, my chow mein, and soda. So that's pretty much it for that this week. Um, if you count from Wednesday when I got paid to today, which is Tuesday. And then my second check-in will be from Wednesday tomorrow. <laughs> to Tuesday before I get paid again. So I'm going to go ahead and do this part right here. Let's see. Oh, I do want to mention some changes I made. So here, um, so if you could see this right here, um, when I did this budget, I had $45 here, and then tickets had $200. I don't know what is up with my Chase credit card, but it's taking a long time to, um, to post transactions. So I actually had a little bit more in there that I needed to pay back. I think from now on, I'm just gonna not go by what it says on the app and actually pay back what I spent out of it. Um, the reason why I usually have been paying back what the app tells me is owed is because I use my rewards um, to pay off some of that, the expenses. Anyway, so I zeroed out the gas and car in the hotel like it's not getting anything so I paid the bill and that's not getting anything rolling over and then the parking instead is oh it stays at 129 and the park tickets instead of 200 got 100 so I just thought I'd clear that up so for gas and car I actually didn't um, fill up the gas prices have been going down. So the last time I got gas, it was 475.9, and that was on the 7th of August. Um, but last week it had gone down to like 469, and then this weekend it came down to 459. And so I'm kind of crossing my fingers and hoping that by next weekend it's down even lower. Um, I do the opposite when the gas is going up, like I'll get gas every weekend. But when gas is going down, I try to skip a weekend um, in hopes to save a couple bucks. So um, gas and car then this week got, or not got, but I spent zero. So that has $70 left. And then for groceries, I had that twenty-seven forty-eight. So one hundred minus twenty-seven forty-eight is seventy-two fifty-two. And for household, I spent fifty-five twenty-three, and that's out of seventy-seven seventy-four. So 55.23, and I have $22.51 left. For eating out, I spent $8.25 plus 3.25 plus 
plus 485 plus 825. So that was a total of 2460. And my starting was $50. So that leaves me with $25.40. So for copays, these are office visit copays. Technically, the medications, the $2.90 that I paid here is like a medication copay. Um, but I just, just for ease, and also I use that category for other stuff as well. Um, I just wanted to say copays for like office visit copays and then meds will be like medication copays or um, even non-prescription stuff. So 5639. I hope that was clear. Um, if you've been around for a while you'll know that I use it on like vitamins, supplements, minerals, protein powder, um, liquid IV, which is like this powder that you put in water and it's supposed to be like an electrolyte boost. Anyway, so allowance got 1272. I am thinking of increasing my allowance, you guys, because this is totally, it's stressing me out, but we're going to see how this next week goes. Um, fun money is getting, or I spent zero from fun money, so that stays 100. I spent zero from uncategorized, so that stays at 10. So let's calculate how much I spent in this week. So 2748 plus 5523 plus 2460 plus 290 plus 1272. So I spent a total of $122.93, which is not bad. Um, I've noticed that I do alternate between like a high spend and a low spend um, period. And it's just, it's kind of funny to me. Like I literally did not want to go to Costco this past weekend because I knew I would end up spending money, but I ended up having to go to pick up my medications. And then, I mean, I ended up spending money anyway. Um, I mean, those were things I was going to get already, except maybe for the lemon cakes. But yeah. 53.90 plus 22.36. I hope I haven't messed this up. 4.5669. And then if I add that to the 122.93, we should come up with... And we didn't. Okay. Ah, why does this always happen? All right, so I went ahead and did the math for all of it because this was very frustrating to find the mistake. I had done the math wrong over here, so it kind of threw everything off. But this is where I'm at. I spent $122.93 out of my variable expenses. So I have $456.28 left. Um, I do roll this over, so anything not used in the following week will be rolled over into my next budget. And for my daughter, I still have the $50 for food and $20 for laundry. That's just going to sit in there like a sinking fund until she needs it. And then I will either load her app or um, send her the $50 or buy her something out of that $50. But for now, she's good. Um, so gas and car for travel, hotel for travel, that's not um, going to get used this next week, but we'll definitely fill it up um, in the following budget. And then for parking and venue, I have $129 here and $100 for tickets. I'm going to beef this up in the following budget, um, but this these are not going to get used in the following week either. 
And so for my sinking funds, they're still intact. I didn't spend anything out of there. So I still have $811.79 between like hair, brows, car maintenance, gifts and giving, um, nothing for clothing, and then subscriptions. Some bills that have gone through are my Delta Care, my Vision, and my car insurance. I will go ahead and send out a payment to cover the Delta, the dental care, the Vision, and probably this Netflix, because that amount doesn't change. And I'm just trying to get my credit cards to zero, that way, I'm not stressed about still owing on any of them and I'll have a clean slate for when I start my traveling. I will be using a new credit card um, that I have just gotten in the mail. I know it goes against everything like that people are usually doing on these budgeting channels but I just needed something separate and something that was going to earn me rewards. Um, so yeah I will go over that when the time comes. <laughs> um, what else? Oh, I did, I did go ahead and film a video for my September monthly layout in my bullet journal. I also set up, um, I set up my new notebook with all my traveling information. So basically like hotels, how much they cost and what sort of things I look for when I'm booking hotels. So if you're interested in that, just keep an eye out on my channel. I am just working on getting it, um, just putting the final touches on, on the editing and I'll go ahead and post that um, sometime this week. So anyway, if you like this video, please hit like comment if you have any questions um let me know down in the comments like if you are planning anything for the end of the summer or has school started for your kids already um technically my daughter has not started school yet but her coach has asked them to come early so they've been doing a lot of team bonding and practicing and they've had some scrimmages already and she says the team is looking amazing. So I'm so excited um, for the season to start. But technically classes for her don't start till the end of August. So that's, it's kind of crazy. She still has a couple more weeks before classes start. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching guys and I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye.